Good morning. It is Thursday morning. It is October 3rd. I still love saying that it's October. It makes me so happy. <laughs> anyway, it is like 7 a.m. Normally, I'm just rolling, in bed, rolling out of bed at this point in time. Not today. Um, I actually woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning for no particular reason. Go figure. It's been happening lately. I'm going to blame it on the baby. He just wants to get me up early already before he's even born. But uh, every once in a while, I'll wake up at like 4 5 o'clock and I absolutely cannot get back to bed. And then I'm just up. I'm like, I might as well get up. I've got to start thinking about the stuff I've got to do for the day. And I thought, you know what? Getting up this early is probably actually a good thing. So I got up at about 20 to 6 today, got all my coffee ready, had breakfast. I really love my morning routine and sometimes getting up this early reminds me of how much I actually like being up just before sunrise because I love watching the sun come up. Um, but my morning routine is one of my favorite things ever. It's so peaceful because it's just me and I just get the coffee going and I put my oatmeal on and I tend to get ahead with some get getting the dishes done. The dishes used to be like the hardest thing for me to do and stay on top of because I just didn't want to do them. So I started this thing where um, I would get the oatmeal going and while it was cooking, I would just do some of the dishes from the day before and it made things so much better. And Job, my cat is being so cute. He, hi Joe, hi. He's staring through. He's staring through the other side of the camera. He can actually see me through the camera and he's totally fascinated by it. He's being so cute. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, uh, whoa. <laughs> someone's awake. Uh, I like to get the dishes done and then I just sit back with my coffee and my oatmeal and I'm, I always read some personal development while I eat my breakfast in the morning. Sometimes it's 10 minutes, sometimes it's a half an hour but it, it's a great way to start my day and I look forward to it every single day. Uh, right now I'm reading The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, I think it's Duhigg, and I've been hearing about this book for the longest time, so I finally decided to read it, and I'm about, uh, almost about three quarters of the way through the book. It is very good. Uh, it's, I highly recommend it for anybody, but I especially recommend it for people who have a lot of weight to lose because this is, the habit formation is what I talk about a lot with my clients and because your unhealthy behaviors really are habits and for you to get the weight off and keep it off you really need to understand where your bad habits are coming from and learn how to replace those bad habits with newer healthier habits and this book will uh, help to explain where your habits are coming from and how you can get to the point that you can change them because habit changing is hard. And the one thing that that book taught me that I think I knew in the back of my head but was living in a bit of denial is that those ingrained habits never really go away. You just end up having to make a conscious effort almost on a daily basis to make that occur. And it happens to me all the time. I've done really well at changing my my bad health, uh, bad unhealthy habits into better healthier habits but there are still days when I end up like overindulging in dinner and I feel gross and I'm like why did I do this even while I'm looking at the food going I don't need to eat all this I still eat it all and now I realize it's just it's part of a habit that I've had almost my whole life and although my habits are much better now that habit's never really going to go away and I have to make a conscious effort to break through that um, regularly. So it it really helped me to understand that and be okay with it and just say, okay, this is, this is who I am, this is what's going on, how can I change this? So it was really uh, mind-blowing, well, not really mind-blowing, but eye-opening for me. So I highly recommend The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. Um, today is a busy day. It was another reason why I got up so early because I have a lot of phone calls this afternoon again. It's a busy month for me already with phone calls. And I have a bunch of them. I have like five, six, eight, eight phone calls this afternoon. And I really wanted to run some errands this morning. And I'm not going to have time. I realized I'm not going to have time if I do it in the afternoon on my regular schedule. So 
getting up this early is great because I've already had breakfast. I've got, I'm getting some coffee in me and I, I will, I'm going to end up, I'm not going to say I'll probably, I'm going to do an earlier workout. Normally I work out later in the morning. I'm going to do one in about an hour and a half, like at nine o'clock um, so that I can still get some work done, get my workout in and head out, run my, run my errands and be back because I need to be back by three o'clock for or before that actually probably by two to get my other phone calls in so it's a pretty busy day for me today it's a great day uh, on tap for my workout today is Les Mills Combat again three days of combat um, but I'm doing combat 60 today so we'll see how that goes I might have to take it down a little bit of a notch to get through it but uh, I haven't worked out that long in a while so we'll see how that goes and uh, I've got my meal plan all worked out for today. I just have to go pick up a really large squash because the plan is to have my very yummy Mediterranean squash uh, for dinner. And I might show you how to make that a little later. But I forgot to buy the squash. I bought all the ingredients but the squash. So I need to go out and buy some squash today. And so I'm gonna do that while I'm running my errands. And so I guess that's about it for now. I will get back to you after I get my workout in. Workout destroyed. I am so happy. I just finished up Combat 60 Extreme Cardio Fighter. And it was awesome. Lots of kicks and punches as you would expect from a combat workout. But I managed to get through the full 60 minutes feeling just fine with only two pee breaks, which uh, is pretty good actually. I've I was doing well with not needing to break for any bathroom breaks, but now it's it's averaging two to three per workout, which is pretty bad. But what are you gonna do, right? So yeah, I got through the whole thing. I, did, I even got through the ab work at the end. It was still quite challenging, which is always a good thing because what's the point in doing it if it's not gonna challenge you? So yeah. I'm just, I, I feel really grateful that I can still do this right now. And I lost my train of thought. What was I gonna say? It's extremely grateful. And yeah, I just had a really, really good week as far as my workouts go. I feel really strong. Even though yesterday was, was tough, uh, I still felt really good about it. Seeing today still felt really, really good. And uh, I just have my my lifting tomorrow and a bit of yoga on Saturday and I'm done for the week. So I'm quite, quite happy about that. So now I'm gonna have my post-workout smoothie, I'm gonna have a nice shower, get ready, and I'm gonna go do some errands before I get to work. All right. Hey guys, it's kinda beautiful and hot out at this point in time, and I had some errands to run, so I thought I would show you a couple things that I picked up. I really wanted to walk home today because it's so gorgeous out, I'm actually kinda sweating. Uh, it's just that kind of fall, Indian summer type thing, but um, I just have too much to do this afternoon, so I really don't have time to, to walk home. But I wanted to show you a couple things that I got while grocery shopping. Of course, I had to get the spaghetti squash for tonight, uh, but there's, I ended up finding a couple of other things, so I wanted to show them to you. The first thing I got, finally, I've been hearing all about these sea snacks. It's basically just like seaweed, right? But uh, it says it's 100% all, all natural premium roasted seaweed, seaweed snacks, non-GMO and very few calories. And, and this one, there's a bunch of different flavors. So I got wasabi, I got uh, spicy chipotle. What else did I get? I got toasty onions. So I've been trying to find some, some light snacks to have and, and snacks that um, Alan will eat and he loves the seaweed. So uh, we got that. I got this as a treat. I've had this before. It's one of my favorites. It's live organic raw banana goji brittle. And it's such a great sweet snack with absolutely no added sugar. All the sweetness comes from the ingredients, which is almonds, coconut, bananas, dates, goji berries, flax meal, cinnamon, and vanilla. And I tell you, I have eaten a whole bag of these. These are amazing. It's a little pricey, but totally worth it. So I am so excited to dig into that. I also got these almond green burgers. I've had them before and I wanted something to put on top of the, the squash mix tonight because I'm trying to up some of my calories, which I'm not used to doing. So I thought that I would cook these up and I would sprinkle it on top. These almond green burgers are really good. Um, there's actually, unfortunately I cannot, sorry for sniffing at you by the way, 
I have a runny nose that won't seem to go away. But this is actually, um, it has soybeans in it, but there's not a lot of soy in it. And it's a lot more natural than a lot of the other burgers out there. It just has like spelt and soybeans, uh, okara, almond butter, filtered water, carrots, onions, green lentils, tomato power, the list goes on. So it's a, these are a heck of a lot better than a lot of the other soy burgers and veggie burgers out there. So that's what, that's what I got. And I also got this M-Bar Vegan Organic Chocolate Co Coconut Bar. I've never, I've seen them a lot and I've never had them before. So I think I'm going to have one of these this afternoon. It's, uh, it's got, it says four grams of protein per bar, but I don't know what else is in it. It's the only downside. So other than that, I went and got some cat food and that's about it. So I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. My bus is here. Gotta go. Bye. Okay guys. So it's dinner time in the Smith household. And before I continue, if you, I don't know if you can hear it on here, but if you hear that squeak in the background, that's just Alan on the elliptical. We have an extremely squeaky elliptical. So uh, while he's working out, this is the perfect time for me to make dinner for us. So I'm going to share with you what we're making. I'm making my very famous, uh, well, famous in this household anyway, because we absolutely love it and it's on my menu constantly, my famous Mediterranean... Uh, squash spaghetti squash and this recipe actually originated from one of my favorite favorite grills in my hometown they used to make this with real pasta usually like bow tie pasta and things like that but one day so I, I kind of ripped it off of them and then one day I thought well it kind of would have been healthier if I can substitute the pasta and so that's when the idea of using spaghetti squash was born so um, this is the easiest thing that you will make. Like, it's just so easy. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. I'm going to show you the ingredients and then I'll show you how to make it. I'm not even, I'm not going to make it because I'm not a celebrity chef or anything. I'm not going to do that, but I don't need to tell you because it's that easy. Okay. So the ingredients are simple. You will want, uh, I cut up a whole medium red tomato I almost said a purple tomato because technically they're tomato oh my gosh tomato i meant onion uh a whole red onion even though it's purple whatever but a whole red uh, medium red onion cheapers creepers i can't speak today one whole bell pepper it could be in the color of your choice i chose orange because there's a lot of red and i just wanted to break up the color uh i have three maybe four cloves of garlic here that no we're not gonna focus are we my camera doesn't seem to focus anyway uh, three or four minced cloves of minced garlic we have a jar of unico sun-dried tomatoes now what I'm gonna do here this is julian cut it is in oil you can get it dried and then just kind of rehydrate it with hot water what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna drain it and then I'm gonna rinse the ever-living crap out of it to get as much of the water out as possible but it that I like the marinated stuff because it gives it a bit of a flavor which is gonna help to flavor the whole dish uh, and I also have marinated artichoke hearts this one I don't rinse because I like having the flavor again to, to put the flavor in the the spaghetti squash. We have some black olives and some cubes of feta. Oh, I'm not done. Also, obviously, we have my pre-cooked squash. And I forgot to bring it out, so come with me. Let's go to my freezer. Now, that's actually just how you make the whole... The whole... The, these are all the ingredients you need to make the Mediterranean spaghetti squash. But because I need to start upping my calories, that's all I gotta say. I don't remember the last time I got to up my calories as much as I have been lately. So I've been trying desperately to figure out how I can up the calories in each of my meals without going cuckoo. Uh, I decided to actually add 
more protein on top of this. This is what I normally do. You can have the Mediterranean spaghetti squash as a side dish if you want. You can have it with some like lean chicken or something if you want, if you want to do that. But what I'm going to do is I am going to heat up some of these almond grain burgers. I love these because they have soybeans in it, but it's not like soy based. And it's got mostly spelt and amaranth in it. And I really like these burgers. I like the flavor of them. I'm just going to heat two of them up and sprinkle them on top before serving. And so all we need to do is you want to cook up your spaghetti squash. If you haven't done it before, it's super easy. You just slice your spaghetti squash lengthwise, scoop out the seeds, put it upside down on a dish, and I just pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for about for about 40, 45 minutes or until you can pierce the back of it and it kind of goes through with the fork. That's that's when you know it's done. And then you just scoop it out with a with a a fork like hold on. I might be able to do this one-handed. If you've never done this before. You can kind of see the more you do it it comes up like spaghetti. See? So you're just gonna end up, you let it cool just for a little bit because it gets really hot and just scoop it out into a bowl. And then all you do is you saute, ooh, I think this might be really close, I'm sorry. You might, uh, you're gonna wanna saute in some olive oil, the onions, the pepper, and the garlic until translucent, uh, at least with the onions and garlic until translucent, add the sun-dried tomatoes and the artichoke hearts stir it up for a little bit once that's cooked you lay it over top of a bed of mediterranean uh, the, the bed of squash i'm really sorry i can't speak anymore i'm having such baby brain today and i can't think of anything and i'm losing track of words uh, but you'll lay that mixture over the bed of spaghetti squash and then you sprinkle on the olives and you uh, sprinkle on the olives in the feta, and that's it. So I'm gonna get cooking, and then I'll just show you the end result, because I'm probably being really muddled right now, but at least you'll get to see what I'm talking to you about. All right, so I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so when you're done, you just kind of plate everything, and you sprinkle on some black olives and some feta, and voila! You have yourself a Mediterranean spaghetti squash dinner, and it usually will feed up to four hungry people or if you want to do it as a side dish six to eight maybe and again i i've cooked up some of the almond burger to put on top for some more protein but i'm not going to show it because it's going to look disgusting and that's not really what the mediterranean squash is all about so somebody's done his workout do you like the squash? Do you like my Mediterranean squash? I made that for you like on our third date. Yeah. But with it has pasta pasta. And taste. Oh, I like it. But I made it with pasta pasta. I forgot. Like with yeah. real pasta. Yeah. But yeah, then moved up in the culinary world. In the health world. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna call it a day because I am super hungry and I think it's getting cold now. And I think we're gonna are we gonna watch Vertigo tonight? Maybe Vertigo? The birds? We're going through a Hitchcock. Thing. I kind of want to watch Vertigo. You can let them, let them know tomorrow. Okay. I'll let you know. I want to watch Vertigo. But I think he wants to watch the birds. I can't stay up to watch both. I'm going to fall asleep. Alright. I will see you guys tomorrow. 